So hello there and welcome to today's video. Today there is some big news on the internet because it seems like nobody cares about this Keemstar and HVH situation. You got Skurse, you got Leafy, Ganoth. I mean they seem to care about it, but no one really cares about it except me. You see, we have people um, asking people for boxing fights now. So I just have an official statement. Um, Morgs, if you're watching this video, I'm calling you out. That hurt. That's the YouTube going to shut me down for self engagement now, but Morgs, I'm calling you out. What? What was that? I'm irrelevant. Wow. That's cringy, that. Like, you're scared, bro. But anyway, let's just watch this clip what Keem's outloaded on Twitter. It's stupid, but I feel like it's really good to react to, so let's just do it. Ethan Clyde! Okay, enough is it. First of all, this new video is absolute trash. So instead of actually analyzing the points that Hatry Hatry made and saying, oh, wait, that's not true because of, or I apologize for doing that to the old man. Do you know what he's done as well? I've watched the Hatry Hatry video. He's actually brought back the allegations of the man being a p. So he said sorry back in 2017, and now he's bringing more points up that apparently he's a paedophile. This man is not a paedophile. So he's exposing it, he's like, oh, I'm not, expo I'm not exposing it, alright? It doesn't even sound like that. I'm not exposing it. It's just news, it's just, it's on the internet, but you making that point has now sparked up this massive controversy, and now people are attacking this old man. Shut up, you know. Well, what's next? You gonna come and bring on like the kid I got into a fight with in the fifth grade? Is he coming up with his story? How Keemstar's a horrible dude? To be honest, I do like how Keemstar's taking this. He's he's sort of going for the approach that, haha, this is so funny. This is really funny. I'm I don't care about this situation, even though he made a video saying hatred, hatred lies, saying that oh you're gonna regret that. I'm gonna, mm, oh, you're gonna regret that. Mm. So he's clear he's angry about it, but he doesn't know what to say about the video. He doesn't know what to say. So instead of actually, you know, saying, oh, this isn't true, he's decided I'm going to go for the ironic approach and just meme it. And it, I don't think it's worked in my opinion. Look, enough is enough, okay? You're old, okay? I'm old. We're old. We're both of us are completely out of shape, all right? But there's one thing that's in common with us. We're both petty and we're both revengeful. And this is never going to end. It is going to end. What about all the beef that you've had with other people, Keemstar? It eventually ends, but in the way that it's in your favour. You always seem to knock channels off the platform. You always seem to get the moral high ground in every situation. Somehow you haven't been cancelled yet yourself. But this isn't. This probably isn't going to end. I'd maybe agree with him, but at the same time, I feel like Hatry Hatry will step off within two weeks. I feel like he'll just get bored of it, and then Keemstar will still put videos on Twitter saying, ah, he's not saying anything, H3H3, he's scared. I feel like that's what he's going to do because he's like that. He's an idiot. I hate him. Mm. You know it and I know it. We're going to hate each other until the end of time. Let's turn this into something good, okay? Let's get in shape and let's get in a goddamn ring. I don't even care if I lose. I just want to hit you. Mate, you do care if you lose. You'd rather win. Come on, if you lose, oh my God. God, you're going to become a massive meme. I know everyone said that about Logan Paul. He's fine now, but you, after all the shit you said, I feel like you will become the biggest meme on the internet. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just once, legally, right? In a boxing ring. And I'm sure you want to do the same. Dude, I love money. You obviously love money. I mean, at least he's honest. I mean, honesty is the best policy. And he's here saying he loves money. I mean, he's being honest. So fine. You know what? Fine. Good, good, good for him. Good for him. Your whole career has been you just being greedy. We'll probably each make $5 million each by doing this. Let's get in the ring. I don't care if it's a year. If you need a year to get in shape, I don't, I don't care if it's tomorrow either. Whatever you want to call it, let's get in the ring. Let's get a hold of Danza, set it up. Uh, Eddie, get, set it up. Like I, I just want to hit you so badly. Bro, calm down. All they did was bring up points that you've done a couple of years ago and made you look like a bad person. How You say you want to hit him just because he exposed you for what you really are. Are you that stubborn that you can't admit when you've done something wrong unless you're backed into a corner and no way to get out? You always seem to creep out that little corner as well. But here, you're just trying to make it some sort of skit, some kind of ironic approach. Like, 
I don't, I don't, I don't get you, mate. You're, you're a bit, your head's gone west. You know what I mean? Like you just, you're not all there, mate. You're not all there. Hey, how's the G fuel going? <laughs> I'm sorry. Legally, of course, legally, this is not a threat or anything. I got to be clear because this will get spun real quick. The master of spinning narratives. But guys, if you want to see a Keemstar versus H3H3 boxing match, retweet the fuck out of this. Ethan, man the fuck up. Again, I don't want to hear you're out of shape. I don't want to hear any of this stuff because I am too. Come I mean, he could. Nobody would disrespect him more if he just rejected the, the boxing fight. He doesn't have to box you. He's, you want to box him because you hate him for the stuff he's exposed you about. Like, shut up. You called Basher versus a p-file. You called Parasynical a p-file. Two very wrong statements i mean they both come out and just one of them was suffering with mental health issues one of them bounced back which congratulations parasynical i've used many of your memes in my videos please don't take me now but you're just an idiot you've just sat, not just that the old man that's three people you've accused of being a p what? you're gonna accuse he's gonna accuse h3h should be a p well very soon i'm i'm just waiting for it keem i'm waiting for it bruh completely out of shape yeah i ran the last couple days but trust me it was a struggle let's get in the ring let's settle this like men it doesn't matter if you lose it doesn't matter if i lose what matters is that we can we can physically express this hatred towards each other and that's the end of the clip many people such as phase banks did reply saying that they'd love to see the boxing fight i would literally pay anything and there was another quote by someone and it says, here is my response to Keemstar challenging me. J Station wants to change the subject so bad by turning this into a boxing. This type of manipulation might work on kids. He really thinks I would be trickling into promoting me by promoting a boxing match with him. Wrong. No, we're just going to keep making vids. Wow. So Keemstar seemed like he was too scared to box J Station. But... H3H3, who's a man who's likely out of shape, and there's nothing wrong with that, he might be out of shape, but because it seems like he's probably easier to box, and you know you would gain a lot of credibility by beating him, I mean, I don't know who's going to win, you'll, gla you'll gain a lot more credibility by winning this, you want to box him, so it looks like you're not only hypocritical, but you're extremely manipulative, which you've shown in many circumstances, congratulations, another reminder, Where's your G Fuel? Also, as H3H3 also retweeted from 4th of February 2020, and there's absolutely no way that I would ever box this kid. If I were to say yes, I'll box J Station, I'd be forced into promoting him by promoting the fight. All this is a manipulation trick tactic by him to change the subject for the f***ing horrible things he's done. You have become what you have criticised. What does that make you? It makes you a massive hypocrite. Well done, you know. Well done. I'm really proud of you, Keemstar. So, I think H3H3 can literally use your tweet and just say it himself, which I'm guessing he's done by retweeting it. <laughs> so, basically, this is how it's working in your favour. H3H3 will promote this event if this boxing match ever happened, which it won't. Come on. And then H3H3 will promote this event, which you will gain an audience from because H3H3 has more subscribers than you. That's just how it's working. And, Keemstar, it's a manipulation tactic. Just well done. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Keemstar. Anyway, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. If you want more content like this, make sure to let me know as well. I, I do like doing these videos. It's changing it up a bit. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you a lot in the next one. Goodbye. And hashtag uh, buy a G Fuel. Don't worry, Keemstar, I'll have your boxing match. I, I will beat you up. I will have your boxing match and I will completely beat you up because you are an idiot. I hate you. I hate you. I'm going to come and dox your house. I'm going to tell everybody where you live and I'm going to make sure that you, that people ring the police on you and I'm going to make sure that you die. <laughs> hey, my name's Keemstar. I'm a hypocrite. I offer boxing matches to people who are just as old and as out of shape as me. But if someone else offers me a boxing match who are way more in shape, then you know what? I'm going to reject that. You want to know why? Because I'm a big, massive, no pussy who got dropped by G Fuel. Ooh.